activation. We're looking to bring our movie theater into 2015. I had an epiphany last night. A movie theater is not just going to fit here, Joe. You make it happen. But when it comes to problems, yes! they're going to be in high definition. What the heck is going on? Four, three, two, run. renovation let's go last season we did the whole house kitchen living room everybody's bedroom this year we're going further when it comes to renovation i've learned justine is her own boss watch yourself just you know me i just want to get my hands dirty and maybe this year I can get Joey to help. I'm getting ill. Me and my wife might not always see eye to eye, but she's trying to put more things in. I'm trying to take things out. At the end of the day, everything's going to be fly. Pray for the river. Forget that. Pray for Justine. We are so close to wrapping up this renovation. From the backyard to the front, from the windows to the walls, this house is almost done for real. Now, with just a few spaces left to go, I need to stake my claim. Just? Yeah. I had an epiphany last night. Not again. Of course, my husband always gets these epiphanies. This is a joke? Nope, I'm dead serious. My idea is this guest room yeah. is not needed. That's an area back there that I don't even go in anymore. That was once JoJo's bedroom. It's been like this for years. Behind our kitchen, we have two unused spaces. My wife already turned our laundry room and powder room into an all-new guest suite, but now we also got JoJo's old bedroom, and I got the greatest idea for it. I want this room to be a movie theater. There's a movie theater in the basement. No one's ever in there. It's a forgotten no man's land. So I figured if I could make this centrally on the floor I hang out in, I'll go in it more. I can take all the equipment, come out the basement, save money, and just bring it in here. Let this room be a movie deal. I get it. He wants to move it because he realized it's not being used like it should be. But there's a lot of work in this, and of course he's leaving that up to me. A movie theater is not just going to fit here. You're going to have to at least cut all this out. That's knocking down walls. And you know how you get with a budget. My husband does not want to spend what it's going to take to do this. I don't even know where your budget is right now. You make it happen. And you just tell me what you want. Yes, so what, what you want to do? Okay, so... Oh, my God. I just realized you look like the nanny. Friend, yes, you look like her. I don't know if you've ever seen that show. The way she's dressed today, you know, with the whole get up. That's not right. Okay, okay, well, stop. Back to the thoughts. She looks like a nanny. I want it to be a movie theater. Exit stable. Oh, my God. You know who you look like just now. That was the grin. So as of now, we're turning the guest bedroom into a movie theater. How? I don't know. We'll see how she pulls it off. All I can tell you right now is that my wife... You look like your daddy! Jowing. One thing about Joey, she's always trying to save money some way, somehow. So we're going to try and save as much as we can from the old movie theater. If I can get it done, and I can save on the chairs, and I can save on a couple of the parts that's downstairs, I'll do it. So JR is here today because I need to understand how they're going to make my movie theater that was downstairs suddenly appear upstairs. My wife tells me that we can take this room and make it to the movie theater, and I'm excited about it. I just don't understand how. Like this! To make this room work for a theater... We gotta close off the old door and tear out the bathroom and closet so the big movie screen can go on the back wall. We're then gonna build some stadium seating and we use all our perfectly good furniture. We'll soundproof the walls and then last but not least, we'll add a door so we can get in from the living room. So we have a hole cut in my house for a minute. For, for a little longer than a minute. Can we do the hole the last moment or does the hole have to happen immediately? I think the issues we do have to deal with, though, is how we're going to try and hide that door as best as possible. Where will the door go? We're going to cut the door right here. 
I'm a little concerned that this time around, I'm staying in my house as we do construction. They're going to be doing things that are potentially dangerous. I want to make sure that it becomes non-dangerous. Today we're going to get this whole back area demoed and done. We got to start rocking and rolling here. This area is never going to be the same when we're done. Today is a big day, so JoJo's room, we are demoing so that we can bring our movie theater upstairs. So this whole bathroom is gone. Right. And because we're getting rid of the closet in the bathroom, it opens up to a big box. Joey thinks it's flowy. Wait a minute. And John He's Joe too. Joey. Right, and he's Joe too. Have you ever been called Joey? You yeah. never Joey. You my, was a Joey? In my youth. I think Joey is a young man. See you later, Joe. Okay, Joe. So I come in my jacuzzi room. I'm ready to take a dip. And um, it goes dead. I think it's freezing cold. See, look at the TV. You know those days where things just keep escalating? TV's off. This is that day. Yo, where are you? Oh, my God. The lights just went out. It's out here, too? It doesn't. If the dishwasher is stopped, then that's stopped. That means the whole house is out. So now, I got to figure out what's going on with my electricity. I got to get this fixed. I can't live without power. I'm not going to a hotel. This is whack. Rev had called me. He was getting upset because his main breaker was dripping in the house. It's freezing cold. Yeah. All the lights went out. It's out here, too? That means the whole house is out. Basically, too much equipment plugged in and too small to service on this house. So what's the point of making a fly new movie theater and we ain't got no power? So I just gave Joe the thumbs up to do whatever it takes to get the job done. <clears throat> Today we're going to begin working on the new electric service. We're going to be jackhammering, digging, and cutting up the place. What the heck? This is so much more than I expected. Imagine coming out your front door, and this is going on. You're trying to renovate. It looks like devastating. Excavator. I feel like Ricky Ricardo. Hey, hey, hold up. Lucy, Lucy. Forward is down. You got it. I want to do some jackhammering too. The jackhammer. Watch yourself, Josh. Hold it, watch your foot. Really? There's nothing better. Couldn't you just like that? I didn't want to stop. That feel good. Mm. So I'm getting ready to go in there and point fingers to Rev, tell him what to do. Go upstairs. Do this. Give me some water in a dirty glass. Great job. So my wife did a thing. Now Joe and his crew can wrap everything up. <laughs> I got my power back, and now we can get this movie theater up and running. Dave? Yes. Hey. So we got Dave, the audio doctor, to come make a house call. Nice so to meet you. I have some really exciting things to show you. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, these are custom install left and right speakers. Oh, so, whoa. you feel the weight of these things? Yes. In terms of performance, these are pretty amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this speaker, and we're going to put it right here. It's going to fit flush again. Of course, yes. Okay. And then the screen is going to be over the surface. Oh, over. So all the speakers will be invisible. A lot of... Dave, that's... Yeah, well, so exactly. really, that is. Dave is going to hook us up. 
Huge screen, hidden speakers. Wow. I mean, it's my belief you live life once, might as well pray twice. My husband probably would agree with that one. No, I like your husband. <laughs> you hear that ringing? No, you don't, because that theater is off the hook. We really had an amazing meeting with Justine. Bye. The whole idea today was designing the room. Now we have to implement it. By the end of today, we will have installed the in-wall subwoofers. We've run all the cabling so the sheet rockers can come in and they can do their work. This place is starting to feel like a movie theater. And to complete that feel, the guys are giving us a platform so we can have some stadium-looking seating. Now that the sheetrock is up, we need to cut the door so the guys can keep working. I know Joey, he is not gonna like this. Okay, so maybe we, we should just hurry up. She's doing pretty good, actually, for the first time. today. I have to live with the hole in the house? We have to live now with the hole? Don't worry, babe. I'll be finished in a minute. They're ripping up the... They're ripping the paint. This is ridiculous. I'm just upset that they didn't tell me that they're cutting a hole so early. My whole thing has been trying to keep this house intact while they're building this, and um, it's not working. This had to be done. I had to hold it off as long as he could. We couldn't anymore. We have work to be done. I'm not even cutting a straight line. It is a straight line. It's the type of line where the cop asks you to walk a straight line, and you go to jail. Hold on, guys. What? Don't saw anymore because it's going to fall. Sorry, can't hear you. A lot going on. Can't hear you. You think I'm going to come meet you? What was going to do? What was going to do? You think that's funny? It's jiffy. No. Terrible. Well, now it's done. I don't like it. So now I'm left with a hole in the wall. I don't know how they're going to patch this up. I don't even want a doorknob on my wall. Who wants to put a doorknob on a wall next to a fireplace? <laughs> job for you if, if you can help. We got a hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I'm stuck with a hole in my wall, but I have Ryan who built Miley's house outside. Oh my god. What? Miley, look at the tree you can climb. I know he's good with the wood. So I'm thinking in my mind, how can I cover this and be able to get in and out without knowing you can get in and out? Can you think yeah. of something? All right. Yeah, we can absolutely figure something out. So basically, Rev just wants to find a way to take this door opening in the middle of his living room and make it seem like it's not there. So um, it sounds like we're making a secret door. Could be really cool. We just got to figure out how we're going to do it. Give me a few minutes. You surprised me. Yeah. Right? It's, it's something cool. All right. Thank you, yeah, man. Absolutely. All right, cool. All right. I love it. Ryan to the rescue. <laughs> So the toughest part is that we got to make a door that doesn't look like a door, but I've come up with is basically a hidden bookshelf door. So it's going to look like a built-in in somebody's house. So I wasn't feeling my wife cutting a hole this early, but Ryan's getting the job done, and I like what he's doing. We're starting on the actual door itself. This is basically, it's just like building a cabinet carcass, dropping our shelves down and making everything flush. So once they're in, just use a crown stapler for shooting into the side. If you look at it, once you break it down, it's really not that difficult. Uh, it's just like building a cabinet, um, except we're throwing some hinges on it, really. So I gave my man Ryan about a week to get everything done, and guess what? He's wrapping up right now.
today. I'm lost for words. It is so much better. I think once you have some stuff on there, nobody's even going to know that. It's they will never know because I'm going to put Nick's and Next. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, a book show. It's like, no, we're going to the movies. Get your popcorn. And boom. <laughs> so I'm going to paint it, and I'm blown away that this man has done it again. So Ryan's finishing up some details in the door, and then my living room will be back to normal. Well, playtime's over in this house. we got to get this theater done now. So we got the soundproofing in, and guess what? When Tyrese is in the guest room, we can look at his movies, and boom, it'll be silent. So what we're doing today is we're fabricating custom acoustical panels. We're taking this material, and we're bonding it to a backing sheet of masonite. Once we lay out the panels, we use a custom acoustical fabric, and that provides our finished wall. There's just a few finishing touches. Once we get the new carpet down, we can finally get our old furniture back in here. And then last but not least, some brand new blackout shades to complete the theater vibe. All right, so the shades are in, all done. Time to watch a movie, here we go. Just like that, Saturday night is movie night, back in the Simmons house. excited getting ready to show my husband in the theater Joe he hasn't seen it since it's been completed wait a minute this door is pretty amazing Ryan did his thing I would say that this used to be a gray wall now it's a white bookshelf and no one would ever know it's more so so is it time it's time let's go to the theater voila oh wow is that awesome this is beautiful. This was an uh, unused storage room, and now it is actually a movie theater. My mind is blown. This is amazing. We have this big, huge screen. Want to catch a movie, Rob? Some high-tech speakers. I'm loving it. And a little bit about the starry sky. Oh, okay. I love the fiber optics that's on the ceiling. Oh, that's lovely. You know what I love? I love these blackout curtains. This is incredible. Oh, these are the chairs from downstairs. These are the chairs we had in the other movie theater. I am beyond impressed. Yay! The way the walls are soundproof and the Wayne's coating looks beautiful. It really is amazing. There is no question, it is a complete transformation. I am so pleased how this movie theater turned out. Now that it's upstairs, I know my family's going to go in there so much more. What movie do you want to watch? Come on and sit down. Let's check it out. All right. We've always been a family of watching movies together. There's something about sitting with the family in silence and peace, sharing the same experience on a screen, laughing, crying together. And when the credits roll and the lights come up, we're just a little bit closer together. God is love. Red, run.